Walk in, this is where you can stow your stuff. And then we have our gym rules up there. Number seven, don't be an asshole. I think that speaks for itself. Shirts are optional, don't be a hater. You can never quit. Winners never quit, quitters never win. Introduce yourself to newcomers. Check your ego at the door, that's huge. Whatever, check all your BS at the door, including your ego. Come in here ready to work hard, sweat it out. And uh, this place should be your safe haven where you can just focus on you for an hour and, and make yourself better than when you, that what you were walking in the door. Okay, so we got the Rogue Yoke, we only have one. It doesn't get used as often as you'd think, but it is awesome for overhead or just carrying heavy weight on your back. And then a Concept 2 skier, or skier. Um, and then 11 rowers, Concept 2 rowers. Down here, 18 boxes. These boxes right here are the kind that you can flip. So they're 20 inch, 24 inch, 30 inch, and you can make those. You can just search that on the web. And then we have some 12 inch boxes, um, probably 10. And then GHD, glute ham developers, good for posterior chain, one, two, three, four, five. And then a back extension machine several portable squat racks, dumbbells up to a hundo, more squat racks, a couple of portable benches, reverse hyper, if you don't know what that is, you should look that up, dip stations, and then D-balls. These are just heavy medicine balls that go up to 150 pounds. Kettlebells on pond kettlebells and medicine balls upon medicine balls range from 10, 14, 16, 25, 30. More kettlebells, more med balls, Bands for assistance on exercises for accommodating resistance or for assisted pull-ups and a lot for mobility. Handstand mats, handstand mats, more medicine balls, D-ball type stuff. Uh, pegboard, yes, you betcha. And then down over here, we got jerk boxes where you can do your Olympic weightlifting, uh, your overhead movements if you wanna work on a one rep max split jerk or several heavy jerks or rack jerks overhead squats you can squat off those more jerk boxes and then bumpers upon bumpers these are competition bumper plates those things are a pretty penny look those up see how much they cost i think a 55 pound is 130 140 bucks just for that one plate so we're pretty invested in competition bumper plates as well as regular old bumper plates and then some old steel ones as well some training bars some different uh steel plates fives tens two and a half a couple trap bar deadlifts, and then a couple different types, like a safety squat bar, and then another squat bar, and then several just barbells, 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 axle bars, dips, dip stations, as well as parallettes, parallettes, rings upon rings for lots of gymnastic work, axle bar, farmer walk bars, mini bands, lots of good hip work stuff, as well as more fractional plates, including like quarter, quarter pound, half pound, one pounders, training dowels, bench press that never gets used, assault bikes. I think we, have, yeah, we have six assault bikes. These are the worst things in the gym as far as pain goes. Rope for like undulation work or pulling sleds, pushing things, more sleds, prowlers, dog sleds, portable sleds. That's really the gym and then open space to train. And then we have two rigs down here. We have a, a rogue rig and again, faster rig and more bumper plates. Up above, we got uh, at least five climbing ropes that go up to 12 and a half feet. So those ropes come down and you can climb. Um, the rigs have the wall ball targets. That's where we do medicine ball throws to the targets. We call them wall balls. You could call them a front squat to press, whatever you want to call them. We have dip stations with the rings. Uh, each station here has one, two, three, four, five, six squat stations, and then another rig with six squat stations. You notice that this pull-up bar has nothing above it. You can do bar muscle-ups, more wall ball targets as well. This has six squat stations, so 12 squat stations in total. 